is Jack Golke. He is the man of March. Golden Grizzlies pulling off the huge upset over Kentucky. Golke step back, left wing three. Of course! Jack Golke again! EQ Cole comes away with it. Back to Jack. He's three, four, three. Oh! I know on any given night I can compete with those type of guys and our team can compete with those type of guys. And that's why I say we're not a Cinderella because when we play our A game, we're, we can be the best team on the floor. The beauty of March Madness is its unpredictability. Every year we get to witness one unexpected hero go on the biggest stage in all of sports and shock the world. That kid this year was a sixth year grad student out of Oakland University. Jack Golke. From 2018 up until the beginning of March, Jack Golke was just your average college basketball player. He came out of high school with zero Division I offers and played for Division II Hillsdale College. He played at Hillsdale for five years before finding a role on the Oakland University men's basketball team for his sixth and final year of eligibility. But one night, Jack Golke's life changed forever as he finally got his long-awaited opportunity to shine on the biggest stage of college basketball. This 24-year-old sixth-year grad student was suddenly the talk of March Madness after he completely decimated Coach Calipari and the University of Kentucky Wildcats. But how exactly did Jack Golke go from being a zero-star recruit to becoming a March Madness legend? Let's break it all down. Golke played his high school ball at Pewaukee High School, a small high school in Wisconsin. And interestingly enough, he was actually part of the senior squad that handed Tyler Hero his final high school loss. But aside from that, there really isn't much more to say on Golke's high school career. In fact, he was so under the radar that 24-7 sports didn't even have a recruiting profile for him. But although he didn't have any national recognition, the locals knew there was one thing that Golke was great at. It sure wasn't his speed, athleticism, agility, or size, it was his incredible ability to shoot the basketball. And although he was one-dimensional, his shooting ability alone got him a chance to play at the next level. Golke eventually would commit to play college basketball at the Division II Hillsdale College in October 2017 and would kick off his collegiate career in the 2018-19 season. But before we get into Golke's college career, I wanted to shout out today's video sponsor, Odds Jam. Odds Jam is the best data-driven sports betting software around, with over 260 sports books tracked in real time. Odds Jam will make you a long-term profitable sports better, similar to the techniques used by investors and traders to beat the market. Now, how is this all possible, you may ask? The Odds Jam Arbitrage Tool. This tool is used to identify inefficiencies or discrepancies in sports betting lines across the entire market, so you can always get the best value on your picks. The tool will even give you arbitrage betting opportunities that make you risk-free money by identifying those discrepancies for you. The tool will find discrepancies so wide that you can bet on both sides of the market and guarantee yourself a profit. Aside from all of the value you're getting from just the arbitrage tool, OddsGym even has a positive EV calculator that helps you make optimal bet sizes for your specific bankroll and a bet tracker that will sync your bets across all your sportsbook accounts to track your daily, weekly, or monthly profit for you. OddsGym gives you a much more strategic and responsible way to bet, making you more profitable in the long run. They even offer a seven-day free trial because they know their product works. If you want to give them a try, use code HOOPDUNGEON for 35% off your first month using the link below. Golke stepped onto college campus in 2018, but even in his first three seasons at Hillsdale, he had little to no role at the D2 program. In fact, he redshirted his first season in 2018-2019 and played under 10 minutes per game in the following two seasons after that. But in the 2021-22 season, his redshirt junior season and fourth year in college, he stepped onto the scene. 
He averaged 9.6 points per game with fantastic shooting splits. He shot 46.3% from the field, 40.8% from three, and a stellar 87% from the line. In the 2022-23 season, his redshirt senior season, and fifth year in college, he cranked up the heat even more, bumping his scoring average to 14.2 points per game while being a very smooth and efficient shooter. And while most players call it quits after a fourth or even fifth season, the NCAA granted Gold Key and other athletes in 2020 an extra year of eligibility due to the pandemic. So due to his redshirt freshman year and COVID year of eligibility, Golki had a final shot, a sixth and final year of eligibility. And in that sixth year, he would finally get his shot at the Division I level. He committed to Oakland University out of the Horizon League, but even with his commitment to play Division I basketball, Golki never anticipated to have a heroic story shape out for him. With his undergraduate degree in accounting already in hand, Golki set his sights on a master's in business, leveraging the extra year granted by the NCAA due to the pandemic and just having fun in his last year of college. But Golki came into Oakland and put up impressive numbers that couldn't be ignored. He might not have led the team in scoring, but he was on fire from beyond the arc all season long, sinking 137 three-pointers. He even attempted more three-pointers than any other player in all of college basketball. And once the tournament ended, he would end up leading all of college basketball in three-pointers made. And aside from Golki, the team played well too. They wrapped up the regular season with an impressive 23-11 record, including a stellar 15-5 record in the Horizon League. They finished as the Horizon League regular season champions and went into their conference tournament as the number one seed. But the job was nowhere near finished. Oakland had to win their conference tournament to get into March Madness. It's typical that a mid-major conference will only get one team represented from their conference in the NCAA tournament. So Oakland had to win their conference tournament. They would eventually cruise through the Horizon League tournament and get to March Madness. But for Oakland's case, they were given a 14th seed in the tournament and had to face the third seeded Kentucky in the first round of March Madness. They were huge underdogs going up against a powerhouse blue blood program like Kentucky with multiple projected NBA players. But for a team like Oakland and a 24-year-old sixth-year player in Jack Golke, this was his opportunity to shine. Golke and Oakland had little to no expectation with zero pressure on them. And Kentucky had everything to lose. But let's think about it from Golke's perspective. Six years of college basketball, five years of D2 basketball, and three years as a bench player at a D2 school. That was an extremely long journey that finally got him to this moment, finally getting his chance to make history. And although that chance was very slim for a mid-major university to compete with the best of the best, it was still their one chance to shock the world and pull off the biggest upset of the year. And to start off the game that night, Oakland came out swinging, and Kentucky was feeling the heat right from the get-go. Despite Kentucky's respectable ranking and defensive efficiency, they just did not have an answer for Golke. Golke was leading the charge, as he hit his first two three-pointers seven minutes into the game, both about a minute apart from each other. He was dropping bomb after bomb from beyond the arc to start the game. He made his third three of the game to give Oakland a 16-13 lead halfway through the first half, and his fourth three to give Oakland a 19-13 lead on the very next possession. Although Kentucky managed to score four straight points in the next minute or so, Golke would nail his fifth three of the game at the nine-minute mark, extending the lead to five points. He managed to rack up 15 of Oakland's first 22 points, all from the three-point line. The game would continue to go back and forth for the next few minutes. Then Golke hit his sixth three-pointer of the half to break the tie and give Oakland a three-point lead with just under five minutes left in the half. Oakland and Kentucky would continue in a back and forth affair and Oakland maintained a tight lead late in the half. But once again, when you need him most, here was Golke. 
With just under two minutes in the half, Golki rose to the top of the key, coming off two down screens to catch the handoff and hit a contested off the glass three to give Oakland a one point lead. This shot was Golki's seventh and final three of the first half. This three in particular was iconic, as he prompted a little MJ inspired shoulder shrug on his way back down the court. By halftime, Oakland held a slim 38 to 35 lead, fueled by Golki's insane 21 point performance, coming off seven three pointers. Meanwhile, Kentucky's sharpshooter Reed Shepard was held scoreless in the first half, struggling to find his rhythm. But the Golki show was far from over. As the second half started, the game stayed within one for the first five minutes of the half. Then at the 14 minute mark, Golki hit his eighth three of the game, giving Oakland their first two possession lead of the half. Then after two free throws on the other end by Trey Mitchell, on the very next Oakland possession, Golki hit his ninth three pointer of the game, extending the lead to five. Throughout the next eight minutes, Golki did not have involvement on the scoring end, but the team saw scoring outputs from Trey Townsend and Rocket Watts to keep the game close. Then, with just under five minutes remaining, Golki nailed his tenth three-pointer of the night and stretched Oakland's lead to 67-62. Kentucky, however, refused to go down without a fight, unleashing an onslaught of three-pointers to keep the game tight down the stretch. With just over a minute left, a clutch three-pointer from Rob Dillingham cut Oakland's lead to just one point, putting the pressure squarely on Oakland's shoulders. It was a nail-biter of a finish, but Oakland would hold on, and Golki was the driving force behind Oakland's massive upset win. Oakland had not been to the NCAA tournament since 2011, so taking down a powerhouse like Kentucky was a huge deal for the program. In fact, it was their first ever March Madness win at the Division I level. Oakland's ironclad zone defense gave Kentucky's high-scoring offense a run for its money, holding them to just 42.6% shooting, their seventh worst performance of the season. It was a wild ride from start to finish, but in the end, Oakland came out on top, proving that anything can happen in March Madness. It was without question that Golki's three-point barrage was the main factor to help propel Oakland to a stunning 80-76 upset over Kentucky. His performance wasn't just impressive, it was historic. 32 points, including a jaw-dropping 10 three-pointers, with seven of those triples coming in the first half alone. It's no wonder the nation was buzzing about this graduate transfer who went from Division II to dominating at the biggest stage in all of college basketball. Golki's performance solidified his status as one of the breakout stars of 2024 March Madness. His 10 three-pointers were just one shy of the NCAA tournament single-game record set by Loyola Marymount's Jeff Fryer back in 1990. As for Kentucky, well, their NCAA tournament woes continued in dramatic fashion. It was yet another disappointment for Kentucky, a powerhouse program that hasn't made it to the Sweet 16 since 2019. And in fact, the biggest storyline that came from this upset is that Kentucky's loss led to the departure of longtime head coach John Calipari from the University of Kentucky. Calipari was historic to that program, 15 years, one national championship, and countless NBA players and all-stars. They were not just a blue blood, but an NBA powerhouse for top recruits looking to make a quick pivot to the NBA. From failing to make the tournament in 2021, the first round loss to Doug Edert in St. Peter's in 2022, and the second round loss to Marquise Noel in Kansas State in 2023, and finally a first round loss to Jack Golke and Oakland in 2024, it's safe to say that Golke's outburst was the nail in the coffin to John Calipari's coaching career at Kentucky. And although he immediately signed a lucrative five-year deal at the University of Arkansas, an SEC rival, there will be a major change of landscape in college basketball with Calipari's departure. And the program will most likely take years to recover from Calipari's loss, as he had such a knack for turning top recruits into elite NBA talent. But back to Golki. This game was more than just any other upset win. It was his chance to show the world that him and his teammates were capable of being on the floor and competing with the best college basketball had to offer.
He even said it himself. Um, I know they have draft picks and I know I'm not going to the NBA, but uh, I know on any given night I can compete with those type of guys and our team can compete with those type of guys. But it wasn't just about his historic game. It was about the buzz, confidence, and aura that Golki showed in the win. His Instagram following skyrocketed to over 75,000 followers after that performance, and he got NIL deals less than 24 hours after his big night. He inked an apparel deal with Campus Inc., made cameos on Barstool podcasts, and even got a commercial with TurboTax. The guy literally became famous overnight and was living the dream. So yeah, Jack Golke and Oakland made history, but the road was tough ahead as they ran into red-hot NC State in the second round. And although Oakland's journey ended in a second round defeat against DJ Burns and the Wolfpack, who made a heroic Final Four run, Golke made a name for himself in this tournament. Golke showed that his shooting prowess wasn't just a fluke. His epic 32-point performance against Kentucky made him a household name. His jaw-dropping 10 threes made him only the fifth player in NCAA tournament history to hit double digits from beyond the arc in a single game. But if you were one of the few that followed Oakland this season or even just glanced at some box scores, you already knew that Golke was the definition of a three-point specialist. This guy lived and died by the three, and the numbers don't lie. He took 347 shots from three this year, and only eight two-point field goals the entire season. Yep, you heard that right, 98% of his shots attempted were from three, which was by far the highest percentage in all of Division I this season. But it's not just about chucking up shots, Golke was efficient as well. He shot a solid 38% from three-point range. It's safe to say that Jack Golke had one of the most remarkable stock rises in college basketball this past season, and was the most unexpected March Madness hero this past season. But what do you think of Jack Golke's heroic performance? Where would you rank his legacy game compared to other infamous March Madness upsets? Considering that Golke's outburst was the nail in the coffin to John Calipari's coaching career at Kentucky, it might be one of the more memorable performances. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video.